Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. The next 10 days, of course, contain a bank holiday. And given how cool and changeable the weather's been during the last 10 days, well, hopes may not be that high for this early May bank holiday Monday. However, things are about to change. It's going to turn drier and warmer. And this early May bank holiday Monday is likely to be the warmest early May bank holiday Monday on record. Countrywide, we are expecting drier and warmer weather over the next 10 days. High pressure building in, jet stream moving north. But of course, this is the UK. Things are never that straightforward. It's not going to be sunny everywhere all the time. There will be some low cloud, there'll be some mist and fog. And especially in the north of Scotland, there will be some rain. Now, over the last 10 days, we've had the jet stream diving to the south of the UK, drawing low pressures in from the Atlantic across much of Britain. But over the next 10 days, you can see Friday into Saturday and Sunday, the jet stream moves north. These warmer colours develop across the country and high pressure builds across the south. Now, that will settle things down, especially in the south, and warm things up. But the jet stream does stay generally close to the north of Scotland. And we see these weather fronts. If we rewind the clock again, this is Saturday, this is Friday, you can see these weather fronts crossing northern parts of Britain. So they will bring a bit more cloud at times, especially on Thursday. We start the day with a warm front pushing into the west of Scotland. Cloud outbreaks of generally light rain and drizzle and cooler temperatures. Northern Ireland, Scotland, northwest England and West Wales, a dull and damp day, a breeze as well, keeping things cool. But in the east, warmer temperatures, brighter skies. And by Friday, well, 20 degrees possible in the east of Scotland and northeast England. But it won't be warm everywhere on Friday. There is the chance that we'll see some coastal fog, particularly for southwestern parts and western Scotland. And where we've got that, well, temperatures will linger at around 11 degrees. So certainly something worth bearing in mind over the next few days. If you're heading to the coast because it's so sunny inland, you might find the coast is a little mistier and cooler. Through the weekend, though, most places will see high pressure building and plenty of sunny skies inland and warmer temperatures. You can see these warm colours across much of England and Wales in particular, and even Scotland and Northern Ireland doing well. Temperatures in some places, low 20s. But there's some uncertainty by Sunday and into Monday about the position of a weather front, because it looks likely that these weather fronts that are close to the north of Scotland will be influenced by developments further west out in the Atlantic. Now, this is the shape of the jet stream on Saturday, and low pressure over Canada here will influence the shape of that jet stream, perhaps bring it a little bit further south and then moving it northwards over the UK, or it could be a little less amplified than that. And that will make a big difference by Sunday, because how amplified, how um, uh, convoluted this shape is, will determine exactly how warm it gets on Bank Holiday Monday and how humid it gets across southern parts of Britain. And there is a chance that if the jet stream draws humid air up from the continent, that we'll see some thunderstorms on Bank Holiday Monday. But that's a lower chance. What's more likely is that the jet stream will remain in this sort of position, just drifting to the north of Britain and allowing most places across the UK a dry and bright Bank Holiday Monday. And temperatures by this stage well, 26, possibly even warmer in the south. And with only 23.6 degrees to beat, this would make it the warmest early May bank holiday Monday on record. So for much of the UK, it's looking dry, warm and bright on bank holiday Monday. But there is the outside chance that humidity will rise in the south and we'll see some thunderstorms. Certainly something we'll uh, keep a close eye on over the next few days. However, whatever happens through next week, the general signs are that high pressure will remain close to the south of the UK and the jet stream will continue to ride to the north of the UK. Now, with it close to the north, we will see some changeable weather at times, particularly for northern Scotland, showers, an increase in cloud, breezy as well. But the south, with high pressure closer by, it's likely that we'll have above average temperatures throughout the next 10 days, generally bright weather, and staying mostly dry. So that's the general trend over the next 10 days. You can, of course, follow the day-to-day -day detail where you are through the Met Office website, through our app, and via our social media channels. Bye-bye for now.